So another week, uh, another week of lockdown, just about. A few changes happening. Um, I'm just heading into Southampton now, so Ink Hive there we opened just before Christmas. It's fairly new. There's a few bits and pieces still to finish off at the site. Uh, hence the piece of skirting board carrying with me today. Um, the site's really central in Southampton, actually they've got a coffee lab, a shop, coffee shop right in the middle of town, just opposite the bar gate. Um, got quite a few people live there, uh, they don't live there, uh, moved in already, offices taken. So we'll just finish off bits and pieces. So I'm out in the fender today, lots of kit to take down. I'll explain the cars projects bits and pieces, the armour truck as well in due course and also I'll explain um, the gun mount you would have seen in the first video and what that's all about uh, the weird and wonderful stuff which I get up to uh, but for now I thought I'd whiz round do a tour of the Southampton site and show you what we're doing down there So this is the back of the Southampton site, if I whiz round that way and go up high, you can see we're right in the middle of Southampton, so a pretty awesome location. So we've got some outside space, bike racks, and then this is sort of a, the members um, back entrance I suppose. Give you a tour around. <coughs> so, a bit of building kit because we're just currently building some stuff, finishing bits off. So this site opened in um, late December, just before Christmas, so still bits to do. So we found here, we're building a phone box, so I'll show you one of those in Winchester where people go and quiet work, make calls. Through the door over there leads upstairs, which is undeveloped currently, so we'll develop that shortly. Um, we've got beer on tap, so this is a quick kegerator I built for the launch party. Again, we've finished that off in due course. Lots of artwork, the TV screen feeds again. And then this area is predominantly just open plan, co-working and ad hoc space. So we've got workbenches, dedicated desk rental. Uh, most people have cleared their stuff currently because of lockdown. And then, yeah ad hoc working space here. Photo booth over on the wall there, like all the other sites. Always this way, so we'll look out the window. <coughs> so you'll see, yeah, right in the middle of town. So there's the bar gate, so awesome central location. We've got meeting room in here, just being kitted out as well. A TV, meeting space, again, these are all bookable online, open to the public as well, don't have to be an Inkive member. Little chill out space, more cool art, and then we're just doing some sign writing, as you saw in the video, on oh, our COVID uh, posters, with our Don't Be A Dick slogan. So it's this way. <coughs> so we've got kitchen space, big fridge, the stick lack of beer currently, again that change. Little kitchen, and we've actually got pretty awesome shower space here. So if you want to cycle in, and then lose down the back. And this is just the first floor, so there's similar space above, which will be converted shortly. And then we've just been finishing off um, the sort of rear office spaces. Light should come on, yeah. So Bottom door down there, and then this is where the offices are. So this little office space will come up for rent shortly. We're just using it as storage for tools and bits currently. More cool artwork. I do have a big collection of art. Loves the stuff. This office, big office. Um, it's actually Go Southampton, the business improvement district guys. So they've moved in just before lockdown, so they're still sorting out. And whiz this way. This little office is actually rented and the guy is going to move in shortly. Again, nice quirky office. All new um, heating, aircon, lighting, the work's gone in. And then down the back, 
This is where the post box rentals are. Only post again. That's just out onto the uh, roof space at the back. I'll show you the front as well. So we've got an idea off in that wise. So we whiz back this way. So yeah, it's a cool space. And it's filled up quite rapidly. Obviously it's pretty quiet today. Um, because of lockdown. But I'll just show you the front main entrance. Again, it's all RFID 24-7 access. And then down to Coffee Lab. It takes you out onto the main high street. So obviously when Coffee Lab's open, easy. Come in, grab some food, drinks. And then if you're a member of Inkjive, whiz up the stairs. Enjoy the private ink space. So, yeah, brief, quick tour of uh, the Southampton site. So, the first floor, which we just about finished, and then we we'll move upstairs and do the same again. So, yeah, any questions, obviously, comment, ping us an email, happily help out. Back at the Charles Ward office, just after uh, whizzing around Southampton, there's obviously still a few bits and pieces going on there which I'll no doubt update again on. Uh, I thought I'd just address the previous video where I was building that large uh, gun mount, which you would have seen if you've uh, checked out the previous vlog. Um, so I'm not an arms dealer, nothing weird and wonderful going on, but I do have quite a keen interest in shooting, I suppose, and uh, military firearms, guns, and so forth. So from early age, I've always shot, uh, target shooting, clay shooting and so on and uh, that sort of developed into another business interest around um, the market of deactivated guns so all the guns you see in the videos coming up are fully deactivated, completely legal and I'm involved in um, reconditioning these, making them into museum pieces, collector's pieces, building mounts for them and we hire them out for film, TV and video sort of work. Those are the studios, the photo studios, the video work we do. There's often demand for this sort of stuff. And it's very niche. Um, I find it quite fascinating. And I've got quite a collection of some quite rare items now. And again, I collect quite a lot of weird stuff. Um, if you think the guns are strange, wait until you find out of some of the other stuff I've got in the collection, which I'll show you in due course. Uh, one of the more interesting ones coming up is the armoured truck, which I purchased recently, um, and I'll show you that. But I'll drop in a couple of videos of shooting bits and pieces now, because I've shot most guns, I suppose, um, around the world. Uh, most recently, I was over in Vegas in Nevada, where I flew in a helicopter gunship. So I was firing a gun out the side of a helicopter, which I'm sure to a lot of people would be very disturbing very strange and quite divisive but I enjoy it, it's quite good fun, it's harmless um, I'm definitely not a gun nut um, I don't believe anyone should be own these sort of firearms privately um, like you can in the States and I'm definitely not interested in killing animals or anything um, with any of these guns and so forth so it's solely, yeah, it's quite a good stress reliever, enjoyment, it's exciting and uh, check out some of the videos I've dropped in next and see what you think. <laughs>
So this is uh, at Charles Ford with the, uh, the workshop and through this door is where all the fun and games really happen and this isn't sort of open to the public as a fab lab workshop. Uh, one in New Milton is, I can drop in some images of that. Um, but this is our sort of private workshop space which we use for all sorts of stuff. So uh, I thought I'd give you a whiz around. So this is often where I'm sort of hanging out I suppose, um, up to quirky sort of things. So big workshop space here. We've got metal turning lathe, so big, quite a big machine. Metal cutting band saw, we've got CAD design PC set up here. Again, a lot of the stuff we build for Inky and the other companies we do all in house, so I try and do as much as possible ourselves. Um, as you saw in the other video, I'm quite a fan of the wine, champagne, so I have quite a collection of that. You can see a variety of uh, Dom Perignon, so I collect the limited edition ones, I collect all sorts of stuff, it's pretty strange. Um, I also retrofitted, retrofitted these fridges with obviously RFID um, locks which I can open my hand. <laughs> no real reason to that and something quirky, different, interesting to do. I haven't finished yet, I still got wire in this one but we'll get around to that one day I'm sure. Lay, uh, not a lathe, milling machine, so big mill, it's a really useful machine. Again, I can go with what some of this stuff does in future videos. So we've got workbenches here with all sorts of bits and pieces going on, projects, uh, band saws, drills, loads of kit, supplies, offcuts, loads of vinyl. So it's a bit of an Aladdin's cave, this sort of space, um, with all sorts going on all the time. But again, this isn't a public space or workshop we use. Uh, the new Milton one is available, well, will be available very soon um, for people to hire and use if they want to use any of the kit, uh, produce products, prototypes, and so forth. And in fact, if you saw the uh, face masks I was producing, then um, a lot of those were made here. So the PPE we produced for the NHS, which we donated, uh, whiz this way. And then we've got the vinyl cutter, loads of tools, hand tools, PPE and just generally loads of supplies, uh, nuts, bolts, all sorts of stuff for all the different weird and wonderful things I produce, build, uh, electronics workbench here, so power supplies, oscilloscopes, um, the armoured truck I'll show you shortly in the video, again I'm rebuilding the complete control panel for it, it will have a push start um, ignition and then I've got all the new buttons for the sort of lighting, um, aircon and so forth. So, but again, you'll see that coming up in another video. Uh, Whiz round here. Those are paint supplies, welding. So basically, it's just a big uh, workshop space. We've got the Bumblebee outfit, which you may see at Inky Hives. Uh, so, loads of weird and wonderful stuff in here. Um, Whiz through to one of the build rooms. So, this is the big gun you saw in the other video, or guns, I suppose. It's actually two of them. And these are uh, actually Russian 23mm, so quite a big round anti aircraft guns. And um, obviously, you saw the custom built stand I've made for them. And again, this would go probably out to a collector um, when we're ready to shift that and sell that as well. Other stuff in here going on currently. Uh, these are 50 calibre. Uh, machine gun anti-aircraft mounts. So there is another Browning 50 calibre machine gun. So again, all in a deactivated, completely legal. I'm not a wacky mad arms dealer, do not panic. Um, we've actually got a missile currently here as well. So this is an AIM-7 um, surface, uh, no, it's not surface to it, it's air to air missile. So this would have been mounted on the wing of a fighter plane and it's yeah quite impressive again we're going to build a custom stand for that and one of these actually sold at auction for just over 40 grand a few years ago 
So lots of people buy these for quirky art pieces. So the one which sold was actually chromed, so chrome plated large missile. No idea where that ended up, but someone's got it somewhere on display, I'm sure. Other stuff in here, we've got new seats for the armoured truck, which I'll show you shortly. The rest of the place is just a dumping ground currently. Uh, we've got 42 inch touchscreen TVs on stands being built, branded up with vinyl. So they're actually going to one of our new ink hive sites um, as an interactive map. So you better press buttons and find your way around. We've got over the back. This is all kit going to new sites, big tellies. Xbox systems. So more Xbox is being sorted out. An original one, a 360. Red Bull fridges, they're a common occurrence. More vinyl being cut, um, as you saw earlier. And then all this stuff in boxes is going to the armoured truck, which I'll show you in a sec. So they've got new lighting for it, a um, whole range of stuff, fridge, microwave, TV. So the armoured truck project is, um, I suppose, a bit like a mobile home, but it's going to be an armoured truck office for no real reason. Then quirky, different, fun, interesting from my point of view. Um, let's whiz back this way. Part of what we do in card is try and reuse or use everything we can. So we keep off cuts, bits and pieces, and then from a sustainability point of view, try and reuse them. So I've just dug out a load of AstroTurf, which we're chopping up uh, to take out South Africa, just to fill in some gaps, bits and pieces. Um, so we'll whiz back down there shortly and see how the site's getting on. there um, we we'll whiz over to another site and I'll uh, do a quick video of the truck project I haven't fixed that door yet it's still squeaked um, so squeaky so what I'll do is just show you the fender as well because um, I like the cars this is one of them They're the beast, not quite the armoured truck, a bit smaller as you'll see me get there. But this is one I did up, pimped up, I suppose, under grey. And I'll show you some of the other cars as well in due course. But I'm a big fan of Defender, it's pretty awesome, fun car, British car. Um, I think it's quite iconic, really. And yeah, all my cars are white. Although the armoured truck is matte black, but you know, never mind. It doesn't really fit having a white armoured truck. And yeah, I like the Defender. It's all snap how it's locked. Let's find the key. So I redid most of the interior. Obviously it's full of bags and stuff at the moment. Always carrying kit around. So new seats, re-carpeted it, new pedals, steering wheel, the whole lot. New stereo went in, um, reversing camera, the works. Re-carpeted all the back, everything. So it's got dash cams fitted, the whole lot. And again, it's just a toy really, but it's, yeah, it's really good fun. So there's the Defender, and then this is the bit bigger one. This is the armoured truck. So it's an absolute beast. <coughs> and, um, I'm going to be converting it all shortly. You, know, you see in the back. So some of it's been sort of carpeted already. We're going to convert it all. Uh, that's how thick the doors are. So heavy. No, it's huge. Again, bulletproof glass windows, proper thick doors. Um, pretty snazzy. If I climb in, <coughs> so the 
interior. Again, we're redoing all of this, buttons. It's done about 50,000 miles, it's about 25 years old. Um, and yeah, it's a fun project. There's not many of these you see out on the road. And this is a six point, I think it's 6.4 litre turbo diesel. Bulletproof window screen. Um, it's all the fuse boxes over there. <coughs> it's got air brakes, air clutch, and um, I'm redoing the seats with kit out the back. And um, it'd be quite a snazzy little project. It's pretty high up. Jump down. Sun's out. We'll respray the whole thing as well. Quite a project. We we'll get new wheels on it, new tyres anyway. Yeah, look at the size, the fitness of the door. It has four batteries, so it's a 12 volt and 24 volt system. And, um, as I said, you probably won't see many of these rolling around, especially not near Winchester. And, um, if a zombie apocalypse comes, then we'll be safe. Compared to that, it's pretty big. So it's Friday, um, back at Charnas Ford uh, today. Sun's out, awesome day. So we're going to do a bit of clearing up in the uh, outside space. And as I said, we do everything here. Um, I'm also going to do some line painting on the car park, which um, get, means I can play with uh, a flamethrower, essentially. So I'll show you that in a second, before and after. Uh, let's whiz it round. So, this is the car park currently, and all the line painting stuff we used originally is worn off. So we did a lot of jet washing, some uh, excavation over there. So just going to redo that. A few new spaces. As you can see, it's an awesome day, blue skies. So we tidy up the garden a bit and um, tick off a few more things on the list. I'm in the Z4 today, another white car, again, another toy, quite like that. Uh, car park's looking snazzy, so just about finished it. A few more bits to do on the far end. Looking yeah, clean and tidy.